Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a book about uh, seeking a bubble reputation even in the canon's mouth. And it's also a love story. Uh, my wife, um, as I'm sure many of us, uh, is very important to me. And I'll, I'll give you just a glimpse into my wife's character. I was in the lineup uh, where Princess Margaret was being introduced uh, along the line. And it was at the time when I, um, I was quite popular. <laughs> and um, uh, I saw, she saw me several paces away, and I saw in her eye a twink. It was definitely a twink. <laughs> and uh, anyway, when she gets to me, she's got a cigarette holder and a cigarette in it. She isn't introduced, but she says to me, uh, give me a light. <laughs> and turn away. You see, to talk to her equally. And uh, so I, I looked at my dinner jacket and I found a, uh, a, a book of matches. And she turned back, leaning forward, with a cigarette, cigarette holder. <laughs> and I struck the match and she said, Oh, God, no, sulfur. Why haven't you got a lighter? <laughs> 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 Princess Margaret was there. I was here and my wife was here. The next thing that happened was, my wife moved from there to here and said, How dare you speak to my husband like that? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're very rude. <laughs> and uh, Princess Margaret, I was shocked. <laughs> But she handled it very well and spoke to my wife like one woman to another and so I'm so sorry I didn't entertain you. Uh, but I don't like salt from the young women. About two years later, I'm at a private party and uh, Princess Margaret's also a guest at this party. And she sees me. This time, there is a twink in her eye. She comes up to me and says, Good evening, Mr. Bowles. And so, Good evening, Mark. And she hands me a clutch bag. And she said, you will be my bag man for the evening. <laughs> In there are my cigarettes and the lighter. <laughs> when I require both, I will ask you. Turn on a heel and walk away. <laughs> so I, I felt commanded uh, to follow. And uh, <laughs> she didn't keep me humiliated very long. And she asked me for a cigarette and then for a light, I did it with a lighter. Uh, and then she indicated she liked a bag, bag, and I gave it to her. And she said, Quits now, I think, Mr. Bowles. <laughs> <laughs> and she was uh, quite wonderful. The, um, this is a, 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 a very moving story about uh, war and fighting. Uh, so forgive me if I tell this story, but it's the, the, the nearest thing that some of my generation <coughs> has ever got to uh, the war. I played the wolf. <coughs> this is my classical career, of course. The wolf <laughs> in uh, Red Riding Hood. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I started to acquire an affliction known as Jeep Bottom. <laughs> you heard of it? What <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what, what was happening was that uh, I was obviously so keen on my part, my research was so enormous, I was so into the part, I began to grow my own tail. <laughs> uh, I had this big tail strapped onto me, to the wire coming through the costume, you know, and it, the pad was at the base of my spine. And after I've been playing for a few weeks, I began to feel this irritation. I put my hand, you had lunch, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I put my hand out the back, and just at the top of the crack where your buttons had popped, <laughs> um, there was this lump, <laughs> slightly smaller than a walnut. And I went to my doctor, and he said, I have no idea what this is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. He said, I'll send you to a specialist. Does anybody know what a specialist called? It looks at the crack. <laughs> anyway, I went, he walked slight, 
striped trousers, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, take your trousers down, and your armor pants, turn round and bend over. <laughs> and then he said, good and all, good heavens, I haven't seen anything like that since I was in the war in Africa. <laughs> We're not very far removed from the monkeys. Uh, this includes women too, I believe. And he said the jeeps in the war were very badly spry and overgoing and people irritated. And there are follicles lying dormant, but if irritated, they begin to grow and you are in fact a growing tail. <laughs> so, uh, do, you, do you drive a jeep? <laughs> I said, no, but I am playing the wolf. <laughs> 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 this is I, I was thinking about uh, headline in, in the sun, I think. Freddie Starr ate my hamster. Uh, I've got quite a few stories like that, I'm afraid. Anyway, he lasted and uh, everything was okay. Is that what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Yes, I thought I'd better get out of here. 